We strictly test the boat to make sure that it's safe. We want to make sure that when the boat goes out in the water, uh, the sailors can put the boat through its paces. The actual process that we use with the test is we put the hull upside down. We support it on a tripod on the mast ball and then we pull against some very large weights. We used uh, hydraulic cylinders, which are typically attached to all the hard points in the boat, and then we pull against those hard points. We're typically testing two components of the boat, well, two aspects of the boat. The first is the design aspect and the second would be the build aspect of the boat. And we take the boat up to loads where we would identify any problems with the design and if there are any flaws in the structure that would also become apparent during the structural testing. These boats are complex to build, uh, sometimes build errors can creep in and you know we want to make sure that we avoid any structural failures. The boat's in development and design for well over 18 months. The structural testing program is an integral part of that process. If we have to repair the boat, it can be quite a lengthy process, and obviously that has a detrimental impact on the development program. Five to seven days of really intense work, uh, intense pressure. Um, you know, all the assumptions that we make in the process are also stress tested at the same time as the boat, so you know, everyone's under major pressure. To try and do it when the, the shed is quietest, which normally involves doing the testing at night. Uh, when the boat's out in the water, there's a lot of noise and so on, and uh, you know, if we're in a busy shed as well, it's very difficult to identify any noises that shouldn't be there. Uh, setup typically involves uh, a lot of sensors. We'll have load cells, strain gauges, pressure transducers uh, that enable us to keep track of all the loads and uh, the response of the structure. Uh, the tests involve very large loads, well over 50 tonnes uh, in some cases. Well, structural testing improves the performance by allowing us to develop a lot of confidence in the boat early on. When we developed RB1, it was a brand new boat, entirely new class of boat, so when we went sailing on the first few days, we took it very carefully. RB2, we didn't have the luxury of that. We had to make sure that uh, we could get out here and start to sail the boat at its maximum potential very quickly. So it was very important that uh, the structural testing covered all the primary load cases so that when the guys got here, uh, we could put the boat on the water and start to sail the boat in real anger straight away. I'm very proud to be involved and very grateful for the opportunity to work on this type of boat, a brand new class of boat, a very exciting boat, a very demanding boat structurally. These boats are uh, exceptionally light for the amount of load that they need to carry. We're operating at the very cutting edge of structural technology when it comes to these boats.